In this video, I'm going to show you how you can hide and unhide rows inside of Smartsheet. Now, Smartsheet is a different type of spreadsheet application that gives us a lot of great functionality for project management, but it all it doesn't always work exactly like other spreadsheet uh, softwares that you might be used to, like Microsoft Excel or even Google Sheets. So there's no way to actually just simply hide rows inside of Smartsheet like you would in with columns. So if you go over to a row and you click on the three dot row menu, you can see here that we can insert rows, cut, copy, paste them. We can edit and delete them, sort them, unlock them, move them. We can add things to them. We can send print and they have properties, but there's no option here to just hide them out flat right. So the only way that we can actually uh, hide rows inside of Smartsheet is either by using hierarchy, using a filter, or using a report. And so in this video, I'll show you how to do those. So the first one is hierarchy. If you take a look at this cell here that says vision, you'll see that there's a minus sign next to it. And if I click on that minus sign, it's actually going to collapse this cell in the row that was beneath it. You can see if I click on any of these minus signs, it's actually collapsing these rows. And this is one way that you can hide and unhide rows inside of Smartsheet. Now the reason why this is working is because this cell is actually a child of the parent cell which is this vision cell. And so what happens here is it's looking at this as a child and when we collapse it, it closes that child out. The way that we can make these ch children and parents is if we you click on that cell, if you go up to the top, you will see that it's already been indented to the right. The text, if you look at the V here and the C of the company, they're not actually lining up. It's indented to the right. Well, if we click on this button, we can outdent and it will move it back in line. And you can see now the minus sign has gone away. That's because it's no longer looking at this in hierarchy. It's no longer looking this at this as a parent child relationship. So if you go back to the cell and you click on it and you hit that indent button now, it will indent it over. And now you can see it has that relationship where we can click on these and hide these. Now you can indent and outdent as many times as you would like to. For instance, if we go down here where these cells are and I click on this one and I can indent it again. And now this is a child of this cell and this one is a child of this one. And so you can click on those. And if we need to outdent that again, we can. And if you'd like to, uh, we could actually insert a row above this one. So I'm going to click on the three dot row menu and I'm going to hit insert above. It's going to make another row for us. And then we could just call this um, all or something. And we can make everything below this a child of this one. So if we left click on this first one here that says vision, and we go down to the last cell and we hold down shift and we select it. It will select all of those for us. And if we go up to indent and we click on that, it's going to indent everything over and it keeps the relationship. So you can see this is still a child of vision, but now vision is a child of all mission is a child of all and so forth. So what happens is if we click on this, it will actually collapse everything for us. And that makes it really great if you need to uh, have main departments or anything like that where you need to um, collapse multiple at a time. So if we collapse these, you can see that these are all children of this one. And when we collapse that, it collapses all of them. So that's really great. That's a great way for us to come in here and collapse these rows and hide them and show them. Uh, however, there's a couple other things that we can do. We can also apply filters. So a, pl a filter will allow us to filter out um, based on the information in the columns. So for instance, let's say we wanted to only see the uh, statuses here that are highlighted in yellow. Well, if we go up to that column and we click on the column menu, the three dot column menu, you can go down to filter and turn that on. And then it's going to ask for a name. We won't worry about giving it a name right now, but it's going to say shows rows that match all of these conditions. So status, and we can select any column we want, but we're going to say status because that's a column we're on is one of. So we can say it's one of, it's not one of, it's blank, it's not blank or so forth. And it's going to say what value should we select? 
And now Smartsheet's smart enough to know what to put in here, and we are going to select yellow. So when we do that and we hit apply, now you're only going to see rows that are in yellow. And you can see at the top, 36 of 42 rows met filter conditions. So that means six rows did not, and they were hidden. Now, if we want to just go ahead and remove that filter, we can go up to the top, we can go to filter, and we can hit the little trash button, and it will remove that filter for us. You can also select the column, and then you can click on this button here where it says filter off. We can select that. And then we can go down and hit new filter. And then same thing, this one we're creating from scratch. So let's say um, we want the status to be uh, only red and yellow. We don't care about the green ones and we hit apply. And now we'll just see the red and uh, yellow. We don't see the green ones. If you go back up and you click on this button here, you can see that we can turn that filter on and off. So that's another way that you can turn these um, on and off if you need to. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can create a column just for hiding and showing rows. So if you go to this last column here and we go to the column menu, let's say insert column to the right and it's going to ask us what kind of column uh, do we want and what is the name. So we're just going to call this show and we're going to select checkbox. And it's going to ask us restrict the checkbox use only. We're going to turn that on. And what style? We'll just use a typical checkbox and hit the OK button. And now it gives us a bunch of show checkboxes. And let's just go ahead and we're going to turn a couple of these on so we can see this working. Now let's go ahead and create another filter. So go back to the filter button. Turn that on. We'll go to new filter. Actually, let's go ahead and delete this one real quick. So we're going to hit that trash can next to unnamed filter. That way it doesn't mess when we mess with us when we turn this on. So go to select a filter, go down to new filter, and it's going to say, do we want name? We won't worry about name it. And we're going to say what field? So our field is now at the bottom and it's called show. We'll select that. And it's going to say, is it checked or not checked? So we'll say filter out anything that is checked under the show column and we'll hit apply. Now it's only going to show us the columns that we have selected. So we can go up to the top and we can click on that and turn that off over here at the filter button. So we can turn it on and off. And then if we need to turn it on and let's say we want to select a couple more that we want to look at, we can go and hit the filter button and it will just show those. So that's how you can create a filter for these rows based on the check boxes here. Finally, you can make a report. So let's go over to our browse button and then I'm going to go to create and I'm going to go down to report. Let's just call this hide and unhide rows. We'll make it a row report and we'll hit OK. We're going to select that to bring it up. And then it's going to walk us through a little tutorial to try to figure out the information we want to filter by. So let's go ahead and select a source sheet. So we're going to go here and we're going to select that corporate strategy plan and hit next. And then it's going to say which um, columns do we want to actually see here? So we can do percentage complete, approval due, board approved, so forth. Next steps, sales approved, service. We don't need the sheet name, we'll take that out. And status. And we'll just hit next. So any, any columns that you would like to see there. Now it's gonna give us a filter to filter out the rows the same way that we did before. So we can go select field, and we can go down to status. And we, we can say, is one of and then we can say let's say we only want to see the green ones this time and we hit apply and now we can filter out a report based on that information there so let's go ahead and change this to let's say the yellow only and hit ok and if you want to see how many uh, yellows there are you can go up to the top and hit summarize and it's going to ask us what column and we can say status and we can count those and hit OK. And in this report, now you can see that there are 36 
with the status set to yellow and we can filter and only see those rows. So hopefully that explains some ways of hiding and showing uh, rows inside a Smartsheet. It's a little bit different, but with those different methods, um, you really can find a great way to work around uh, just the basic way of hiding rows that you would in Microsoft Excel. And I really like um, the functionality of this because you can set up filters or you can set up those checkboxes, whatever is most convenient for you to show the data that you're looking for.